Assalamualaikum and a very good um, evening. So I'm going to show you on how to use any desk on iPhone. Okay, so if you can see, there is an icon here on your right hand side. Any desk, the red color. All right. So um, you can use this uh, application. If I say you do not have laptop or desktop. Okay, if, just in case you only have phones. All right. Uh, so you need to uh, tap on the application and if you can see um, there is your address and also remote address so your address is your any desk a remote address should be your friends any desk address okay or your lecturers any desk address so they their address should be nine numbers two or nine digit okay so I'm going to key in the number here for example Mine would be eight three five zero six two nine two eight. Okay. So, um, if you can see, there is a connect icon. So you click connect. Okay. So once you click there, so it will ask you to uh, fill in the password. If let's say your friends or your lecturers. Um, have set it to the password okay so they will accept on their end accept your request all right so now I will accept on the, the desktop okay so now you are in okay you are in the desktop already so please remember for iPhone you have to make sure that the cursor is on the icon or anything that you would like to tap so in order for you to minimize you just have you need to tap once okay so now you know what you are right now want to do your cblt test so you move the cursor to the folder okay if let's say you did not put the cursor on the folder you just tap the folder you it will do nothing okay so you need to move cursor here and then as usual you need to double tap so once you have double it double tap um, the folder will open and then you move the cursor again to the icon again if let's say you did not move the cursor on that icon it will not open so move the cursor there and then you double tap all right so now you are in the system already so please remember for ID or serial number you have to know your lecturer's ID okay so please remember before you start your CBLT test go and ask your lecturers their ID so that it will be easier for them to retrieve your marks later so move the cursor here and then one tap okay so now in order for you to uh, get the keyboard because right now there's no keyboard uh, icon so you need to drag your hand whether from left to right can you see the icon here a few icon all right or you can also drag from right to left okay so the same icon all right so for example here so you key you you press on the keyboard show keyboard there okay so you key in your lecturer's id okay so I'm going to use the dummy address, the dummy, sorry, the dummy instructor login. Alright, so here the cursor, move it here and then you one tap. Okay, so it's correct ID number. Again, if let's say you click OK with your finger, it cannot. Okay, so you need to move the cursor and then press one, tap once. Okay, so you move here and then tap once also okay so please remember to fill in your uh, student id and then your ic without the dashes all right so move the cursor here tap once show keyboard as usual and then key in your id i'm going to use the dummy id also and move the cursor tap once here show the keyboard again key in your ic Ok, 
okay so once you have completed you have filled in all the details you click on search my information one tap okay so you all all your details are there okay and please remember if you can see here instructor one uh, if let's say you want to know whether you have key in the correct ID or not your lecturers ID you can see their names here okay and then please remember to check all the details here before you click submit to proceed okay check all your names all your details your ID number whether it is correct or not if let's say it's not correct then you inform your lecturers so that they can inform us so we can change the information okay so uh, now if, so for example if let's say um, the, the system say that they do not have your ID okay so you need to uh, reset again your information and key in again all right so now after you have filled, uh, after you have searched your information and your information is the is here already and then you click submit to proceed one tap okay so now you are here so you will see your name here your id and then your campus okay and here is your lecturer's name okay so please remember you have 30 minutes to do your test there are three parts part a part b and part c there are 20 questions and please remember uh, if you can see there there is icon here choose listening question so once you click this icon you will straight away uh, be you will be lead you sorry you will be led to the test okay but please remember that once you click your 30 minute starts right away okay so uh, put your cursor there okay and tap once ELC 1 to 1 Integrated Language After Skills 1 Computer Based Listening Test okay, just in case you don't This want to listening to the, test uh, contains three parts right? and 20 so questions. And Each section has Okay, so in order for you to know whether um, in order for you to uh, listen to your sorry in order for you to listen to the audio for part a here for part a here you need to click on each of the question for you to listen to the audio okay and then for part b here you need to press on the speaker icon or if let's say just in case or maybe you want you you can try and click part b or speaker icon or you click on the question if i say you click on the question here there is no audio then you click on the speaker icon if i say there is, there is no audio also you click on the part b okay so, but usually when you click on the speaker icon the audio will be there so uh, for part b here and then part c for part c also same goes to part b you need to click on the speaker icon all right so that you can listen to the audio and please to remind you that uh, if let's say you have listened to the audio but you want to repeat so you stop and then you press the speaker icon again but please remember once you stop and click the speaker icon again the audio will start from the beginning okay for part b same goes to part c but for part a is one item one item one audio one audio one audio one audio and another audio so that there are five audios that's why you have to click on the question but for part b and part c one audio is for all question one audio is for all question okay i hope you can remember then after make and in order and you can also see here there will be your name here your id and then your ic number and your lecturer's num uh, your lecturer's name sorry okay so in order for you to know whether you have um answered all question you can this will be for example you click here and then you click b your answer will be here so you may want to check your answers whether they, all of them are available here before you click done submit to proceed eh, sorry uh, submit the test okay so once you click here 
you can see a warning check to make sure you have answered all 20 questions okay so if let's say you already confident that you have answered all questions so you can uh, you move the cursor to uh, this icon done click to submit test and then you click one tap okay and if you have completed uh, click test uh, yes otherwise click no so you have completed so you click move the cursor and then click yes okay so now again if let's say if you just want to reconfirm your name should be here your student id your ic number and your campus should be here all right and your lecturer's name should be here and please please and please to remember please remember that once you are in this once you can see once you see this page okay you need to make sure you click this count mcq mc sorry mcq scores if let's say you did not click here your your marks will not reflected will not be reflected in the system okay so please remember to put the cursor here and tap once so you have count, you have counted generated and saved your total results okay so move the cursor okay all right and please remember to take the server sorry to the survey before you quit okay so one tap so you do all the question so you tap here so there will be a uh, the question and then you have to choose which whether you agree disagree or whatsoever your responses so once you have completed then you click here done click to submit so you want one tap there and then yes one tap there send their survey responses here one tap and then move the cursor here okay so once you have completed everything, you may want to click quit. So basically, you have completed your CBLT test. All right. So I really hope this uh, tutorial will help you to do your next CBLT test. Okay. I think that's all from us, from our team. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, sorry one more thing I forgot to inform that if let's say you want to disconnect or you want to um, go up from this any desk you just um, you just like go up from the um, application as simple as that thank you so much